Friday, July 10th, 2015 will go down as a historic moment in South Carolina's history. The flag that was a symbol of controversy to many was taken down and folded up by state troopers, never to be seen again at the state house. But where exactly did the flag go, and who has it now? You won't have to travel far to find the answer. The flag hasn't even made it off Gervais Street yet, and it never will. That's because the flag's new home at the South Carolina Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum is less than a mile away from where it once flew. But if you were to ask museum director Alan Robertson to see the flag now, he would tell you. No, we're not. We're not bringing it out. At least for the time being. It's up to the museum to decide how exactly the flag will be displayed. Right now, the flag is under high security. It's locked up in our artifact storage area, which is secure, under alarm, climate controlled, and an acid-free box. And wow. there it has stayed. Has not moved from there since then. In fact, the flag has spent more time under the museum's watch than it did flying in front of the State House. There have actually been multiple flags that have flown in front of the building since 1962, but have been replaced due to weathering and other factors. Nearly three months ago, a woman climbed up at the Confederate flagpole to remove the flag. That flag was taken by police to be used as evidence. It was then replaced by another flag, which flew for less than two weeks. That flag is the flag that the museum holds right now. Yes, the flag that everyone saw come down on the 10th of July flew for less than two weeks, but that doesn't change the fact that it is still a Confederate flag. But regardless of how many days the flag flew at the State House, the museum still has to come up with a plan to display it. Robertson and his staff will work with a nine-person commission to decide exactly how the flag will be displayed. So far, six members have been appointed and a plan has to be reached by January 1st. At the museum, there are no calls to action to take down the flag, no KKK rallies, and no Black Panther demonstrations. Only pieces that tell the history of South Carolina. And with patience, a new piece will officially be added, safe and protected, where it will remain forever and find its place in history. Jeremy Urso, Carolina News.